it's worth taking the time to understand those subtle ways in which we are kind of gaslit by mainstream society. Take something like alcohol. What is alcohol if you examine it from a first principles point of view? Alcohol is the substance we use to half anesthetize ourselves so that we can handle social situations, or if we're by ourselves we use alcohol to make it more tolerable and to squash negative emotions. Alcohol at its core is a depressant. It numbs our emotions, makes us feel less, also decreases our capacity to regulate our emotions. But that's not really how alcohol is presented. Alcohol is presented as the fun option that has side effects that gives us problems with our health. And this is one of the ways in which I think society, and I don't think this is any one person's fault, I think this is just a consensus problem, society does kind of gaslight us a little bit, in that it presents us with a false dichotomy. So going back to alcohol, it presents us with the false choice between one, having fun and drinking, or two, being healthy but not having fun. But the truth is, people who rely on alcohol habitually in social situations probably don't know how to have fun sober, they don't know how to socialize sober, it makes them anxious, conscious if a person actually learns to have fun while sober then not only do they get to have fun and be healthy but they get to enjoy clarity of mind which can actually be really nice in a social situation funnily enough it doesn't mean that there's no place for alcohol obviously but this is a good example of the ways that mainstream thought and consensus opinion can take us down a bad path